Recently, someone asked me to take a look at a business training program that she was thinking of investing in, enrolling into. And I took a, as I took a look at the sales page, some red flags came up for me. Uh, the big red flag was that this, this training program was listing the various elements of it, saying, oh, element one of this training program is worth you know, $1,500, element two is worth $3,000, element three is worth you know, $5,000, et cetera, et cetera, whatever it listed as. And the total value ended up being $12,000, but the current price tag is only $1,000. Wow, it seems like such a great deal. The total value is 12,000 and the price tag is only a thousand. I'm saving so much money. It's such a great deal. Uh, let's just tell it straight to you. They are lying to you. Not that they're bad people, but that they've learned some bad skills. So let me give you a, a, an example that's more common uh, in the real world, which is let's say that you wanted to sell your house and you put your house on the market for $2 million. You say, oh, my house, I love my house, it's worth $2 million, right? But that ends up selling for half a million dollars. So what is the value of your house? It's half a million dollars. It's what the actual transaction ended up being, is what the market, what the buyer actually paid you. That's the value of the house. Same thing with a program. If nobody's paying, if nobody has ever paid $12,000 for that training program, that marketer, is, is lying to you when they say that the program is worth $12,000. Do you understand? Because they can make up whatever numbers they want. The program's worth a million dollars and I'm only selling it for $1,000. So unless they sold every every element of those, that program for exactly what the value is, then people actually bought it consistently, not just a random person here and there. But if the market continually pays a certain amount, that's what the value is. Do you understand? So. If you see programs that are being sold like that with value numbers that are inflated, I recommend that you run the other direction and look for something else that's more honest. And people might say, well, George, statistics show that what they're doing works. Okay, statistics also show that pornography sells. Statistics also show that heroin sells. So you wanna go sell some pornography and heroin? So you can't just do what the base human instinct is going to take action on because if you do that you perpetuate an unwholesome way of doing business that just makes things worse over time. The statistics also show that when you are generous in the right direction you will have plenty of clients. So which statistics are you going to follow, right? <laughs> I hope that you will um, stop learning from people who have not have done that they're bad people but they, they've learned some bad skills because they think that statistics show this so they must do that no they don't there's better ways of doing it and that's why i keep trying to prove and show you that there's a better way of doing business and so um until the next video i hope that you will uh, be cognizant of the kind of marketing that you're that you're seeing and realize that there is a higher and better way and to run away from those influences toward influences that feel right for your spirit and um, as a result be able to create an authentic business until the next video i'm george cow and i wish you well